In this video we're going to go over some of the most common uses for the siren light. It is a very useful item as you will soon see. If you want more quick guides like this, leave a like to support and subscribe so you know when the next one goes up. Real quick, I want to say that I've been live streaming on Twitch, kind of giving it a try. I would love to see you there, link in the description, let's go. So the siren light is a level 1 electrical component found here on the tech tree. If you find one in the world, it costs only 20 scrap to research. It is also very cheap to craft, costing only 120 metal fragments. Now let's go over some of its most common uses. A very common practice in base designs is to have a roof something like this, which gives you gaps you could defend from in an online raid. Doors are commonly used here to give vision down but maintain cover from a distance. The weak spot here potentially is the top. If you stand here, you can have another player push you down and in from above, which would give you access to the defense floor. Now, in an online raid, this is one of the worst things that can happen. Trust me. This is where the siren lights come in. As the base builder, you can add in siren lights to the top of each of these gaps with the door like this. They don't have to be placed perfectly in a specific spot, just about in the middle. This will stop any movement through this gap instantly. Now one thing I want to mention quickly is that this doesn't have to be done to the bottom too because the gap is already too small to fit through. Now remember that a siren light is only 120 metal fragments to craft so you can easily add one to each of the gaps you have like that on your roof without using too many resources. The second most common use is to use siren lights to block the gaps in your peak downs. A general rule is that if you can fall through it, you can usually ladder up into it, and if a raider can do this for free, that is a very, very bad thing. Now this isn't a tutorial on how to build good peak downs, so just take the different gaps at face value as a gap. There are a couple of different places you could put each siren light to block the actual gap. I like to put them on the core of the base when possible like this. When you place each siren light, Keep in mind how raiders could change the stability of your base when raiding, and certain areas can crumble when they do raid. Just keep in mind that there are multiple places for each gap that you can add the siren light to, and pretty much test every possibility of the raid. I would say design your peak downs with understanding that these outer walls are a real target for the raiders, so in this case it may be wise to put the light on these triangles because it could potentially last longer. Once again, this is not a guide on how to build the best peak downs or anything like that, but know there are many variations of gaps you can fit through and each one should get a siren light somewhere. Now as a builder, I would in most situations love to build in a completely flat area like over there, but in a real server, this is most of the time not even possible. So let's say your compound is on the right side here and you end up with an external TC, something like this. This is a slight design error, but sometimes unavoidable. The problem with this is fresh spawns can grab some wood and a building plan, build a couple of floors, and jump in just to be annoying. There are other things you can use to do this, but the siren light also works here. First thing you'll want to do is visualize all of the different platforms that can be built which will allow someone to jump over without hitting the top of the wall. In this case there are two, as a matter of fact we wouldn't even need this triangle. Now if you were to add the siren light to the top of the sides where fresh spawns would build, you can no longer place the platforms. When you place these, I like to make sure they are as close to the very top as possible. This will block the ability to build on each side. You could still potentially ladder onto such an external and jump onto the wall and heal through the damage, but this is not much different than laddering directly over the wall, which can only be stopped by turrets anyway, and barricades. This technique is a little less common, but is very useful as you can see. So that's all I have on the siren light. If you have any other uses for it, please let me know in the comments below or in the discord, link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.